Hi, I'm Chantel, and I'm with Youth Radio's Culinary Chemistry, and I'm here at Smitten Ice Cream in Hayes Valley, San Francisco, and I'm here with Eliza, who's going to show us how to make some cool ice cream. Let's go and make some ice cream. So what makes your ice cream different from other ice cream? So Smitten Ice Cream uh, is very different because we use liquid nitrogen to make our ice cream. We have built and patented our own technology that we've named Kelvin, and it can freeze ice cream from liquid to solid in about 60 seconds. How did you come up with the idea? So Robin Fisher is the founder of this company, and she really just wanted to get closer to the cow in making ice cream. She felt that a lot of traditionally made ice creams were just getting really full of chemicals or laden with preservatives, things that didn't add to the taste, but really just enabled it to sit on a shelf for a long time. The freezing process itself is critically important to the end quality of the food. And generally the rule is that the faster you can freeze the food, the better quality you're going to end up with. But is liquid nitrogen dangerous? So nitrogen in its gaseous state is about 78% of the air that we're breathing right now. So it's an incredibly natural element. We're just using it at a very, very low temperature. So is there any nitrogen in the ice cream? No, we're not consuming the liquid nitrogen. It evaporates in the process and as a result that allows you to add it in a great quantity and quickly freeze whatever it is you're trying to freeze, the ice cream, but not have to worry about um, it showing up in the final product. That's one of the benefits of using it. So can you just walk me through the process? Sure, so what I'm gonna do right now is uh, pour our sweet corn ice cream base into the Kelvin machine and get it frozen. So what I'm gonna do is lift the arm of the Kelvin, pour in the base, We'll put it down and then when I press start, the liquid nitrogen is going to get emitted right back here from this nozzle. It's going to inject the liquid nitrogen into the bowl and the beaters are going to spin so the ice cream is going to stay really, really condensed. So what I'm going to do is just lift it up and then I'm going to get it off the beaters and there's your ice cream.